Ah, there's nothing quite as relaxing as life on the ocean waves. Well, at least that would be the case if it wasn't for these people. What's the last thing you want to see while you're fishing on a small boat? This. Apparently, you don't have to be an incredibly good sailor to pilot a yacht. Just incredibly rich. These people were excited by the arrival of their boat, and then suddenly not so excited. This boat originally had two adults and two children in it, who thought it would be a good idea to go out sailing in this weather. Luckily, they made it to shore, before the boat. Weirdly, there are some times when a surfboard is a much safer option than a boat. It's not quite the Titanic, but a sinking boat is a sinking boat. After holding onto the roof of their sinking ship for three hours, these passengers were more than slightly relieved to see a fully functional boat heading towards them. This incident would have been enough to turn every head in Amsterdam, but it was actually a stunt for a Samuel L. Jackson movie. If you start to hear the crunch of gravel under your boat, then you know things haven't gone entirely to plan. If you attach yourself to an iceberg, it's always worth remembering that the iceberg isn't attached to anything. These guys are hired to dispose of abandoned or derelict boats, and this is how they deal with dropping those tricky masts. If you don't believe that professional fishing can get competitive, then take a look at this disaster. Every boat owner is desperate to get their baby into the water, but this guy was more impatient than most. This is what happens when you get in the way of a plane making a water landing. One person is out. As you can see, the one thing that's not covered in any driving test is how to launch a jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's going to When you allow your sister to park the boat and almost immediately regret it. Whoa! Yes, <laughs> They really need a device to warn them of hazards such as these. Like a pair of eyes, for instance. <laughs> Gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, fear me. You remember that line from Jaws, we're going to need a bigger boat? Well, it applies to tuna as well as great white sharks. You got it. There we go. There yeah. Almost. Just start going. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. This guy does things with gravity that would confuse Isaac Newton. You have to be doing some pretty reckless boating to end up in someone's back garden. Oh, wow. I came in. He came in hot, I guess. Lesson one of backing your boat into the water. Always stop reversing when the water reaches your steering wheel. Oh, Lord. This trailer is missing a tire. Oh, and a boat. Oh, 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 oh. 
This guy clearly doesn't have time to wait for the bridge. But hopefully he's got money for expensive repairs! Oh no, he got oh! Shit. Holy shit. The person who loaded that boat onto the trailer needs to be precise, safety conscious, and a true professional. And also needs to start looking for another job. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh god. There goes there the boat. Goes, there it goes. There it goes. There goes Get the out boat. of the way! Whether in a boat or a car, never reverse at a hundred miles an hour. Oh, oh my god. Stop, stop, stop. Got smashed up too. The tender got smashed up. Oh man, the steps really smashed up too. Oh, far out. Here's another person who momentarily forgot that there's a difference between car and boat. We mentioned Jaws before. Well, he's a shark who was clearly greatly inspired by that movie. He's coming, he's gonna breach. Oh, that's so scary, man. I want to speak on. Fuck, you're gonna touch the boat. You can do your best to protect your boat during a storm, but when the docks start to come loose, it's pretty much all over. If your boat is stuck in gear, there's very little you can do besides stand back and watch the carnage. What the f is he pissed? This guy sounded his horn and made himself visible, but he was forgetting one thing. The guy driving the other boat didn't give a crap. If this was your ferry, you'd probably decide to wait and get the next one. Oh my God. Oh! This guy's sailing career was so dead in the water that he decided to make his boat look like a tombstone. <laughs> a regatta doesn't sound like the most exciting spectator sport, but sometimes things can liven up a bit. And now, a fight between a cruise ship and a mooring platform. I wonder which one's going to win. Luckily, this guy really hated that boat and that car. I mean, surely they must have seen each other coming. Not all David and Goliath situations end up with David as the winner. Tugboat's going down. Oh. After a collision between two boats resulted in a sinking, other nearby boats suddenly found themselves on a rescue mission. Oh, It's always worth remembering how big the ocean is, and how big the things in it can be. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, just a random boat driving through a car park. If there's one sight you really don't want to see while you're on board, it's this. When you narrowly avert disaster via the power of screaming, there's always plenty of boat based entertainment during the 4th of July weekend.
We've seen plenty of modern day shipwrecks so far, but the older ones can actually be quite beautiful. This wakeboarder was apparently so fascinating that he managed to wreck two boats just by existing. This was one crash of about 20 during a mackerel fishing tour. What is it about mackerel that gives people boat rage? If it wasn't for this fishing boat, the crew of that slightly wetter boat would have been in some serious trouble. When a cruise ship goes slightly off course, you know it's going to be expensive. Proof that it's not just women who can multitask. This guy manages to wreck a boat, a forklift, and a truck all at the same time. Yes, that's an oil tanker that's just hit a dock. And yes, that's a massive amount of oil spilling into the sea. How do you board a ship when there's ice for miles around? With one of these crazy contraptions. When a cruise ship is moving too fast, it's pretty obvious to everyone. This is what it looks like when two ships have the hots for each other. Is the truck launching the boat or is the boat launching the truck? And that's where the brakes just, uh, yeah. That door that's that's where where it, should be uh, when you go to the floor, it was the boat bar holding it up yeah. and the boat you, holding you, the you back up. Hmm, we're going to go ahead and say that they're not experienced sailors. Here's a boat owner embarrassing himself from two different angles. These guys have figured out how to launch a boat in the most comedic way possible. <laughs> and speaking of comedy, here's a gondolier who likes to add a little extra unexpected touch for tourists. And now, here's someone who should be giving lessons to the people in our other videos at a boat docking competition. <laughs> These women are so used to sinking that it's not even a big deal anymore. Boats are made for the water, right? So why does it matter if I have a tire or not? Once again, there should definitely be a book called Launching Your Boat for Dummies. Some boat owners are just less ambitious than others, but more romantic. Just like our roads, our waters are full of idiots. When your singing voice is so powerful, it pushes people overboard. If you're new to akimbo and still a little wet behind the ears, then there's one thing we always ask before you haul anchor and sail away. Click subscribe!